Okay, guys, on this lesson, we're going to be subtracting fractions with like denominators. So you're going to notice that the denominator and the fractions are the same. But instead of adding like we've done earlier in this week, we're just subtracting. And I think overall you're going to find this to actually be easier than the addition one. So I'll start off with the splash math lesson they're going to show you. You're going to see the problem right here. We have 2 thirds minus 1 third. We're going to keep that same denominator, and then all you have to do is subtract the numerator, just 2 minus 1. Pretty simple. We know the answer is going to be 1 third. But what the directions are going to ask is they want you to cross out the shaded parts. So instead of coloring them in like we did on the addition, they're actually going to have us cross out. So this 2 thirds is represented by these yellow bars, but we need to subtract or cross out 1 third. So you simply touch one of these and it'll make an X for you and it'll cross it off. So if you had two-thirds of these in yellow and you take one-third away or cross it off, you just have this one-third left. <coughs> Here's another example of that, two-thirds minus one-third. They had the two-thirds in yellow. They crossed off one-third. Our job is to select that one-third. All right, here's another one. No picture on this one. Just subtracting, and we're going to keep that common denominator, and we're going to do 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 eighth would be our answer here. And this one, they gave us the denominator all the way through, but we've got to find that missing numerator. So if we have 2 thirds, how many thirds do we take away so we have 1 third in the end? And... That's just one. Here's another one of those pictures where you have to cross off. They started with three-fourths in blue. They want us to cross off one-fourth. So we simply touch one of those. And it really doesn't matter which one of these you touch, as long as you touch one of those blue one-fourths. All right, now this one, they did the cross off for us. They had four-fifths in blue, and they crossed off three fifths and they want to know what's left well there's just that one piece left so that's one fifth left all right and another example here keeping that same denominator all the way through how many eights would you have if you took four away and you had three left well, really, they're doing a subtraction problem, but in reverse. I could flip that around and look at it as 3 plus 4 equals what's missing here. So how many do I have that I can take 4 away to give me 3? Well, that should be 7. Hopefully, this helps with the subtraction of fractions. I think you're going to find this to be even easier than the addition, especially since you won't get an answer that is improper. For instance, when you did addition with fractions, if you added 3 fourths plus 2 fourths, you would get 5 fourths, which is that improper fraction, more than one whole, and you would have to convert that into a mixed number. Because when you're doing subtraction, you're taking away and you're not getting bigger than one whole, you're getting smaller and smaller, you have a simpler answer. You don't have that improper that you have to convert to a mixed number. They call it simplifying in fractions. When you subtract, your answer already becomes pretty simple. So I think you're going to find the subtraction of fractions even easier than the addition.